Hello, let's begin by making a stone wall. For this I'm using EVA foam and this comes in the form of mats you can find in camping and hardware shops and it's very cheap and you get a lot of it. So I start by making simple brick shapes and then I cut in jagged edges and rip the foam to give it a more rocky appearance. I try to make the cuts as quick and as random as possible to make the end result more natural. I then glue all the pieces together with PVA glue. I find that terrain making is all about giving the pieces character, so I like to stack the bricks and glue them together in really uneven and odd ways. And I do this with the goal of giving each piece a little narrative behind it. Because of the natural colour of EVA foam and the texture it has, uh, you can totally leave it unpainted and it will still look good. Um, however, I wanted to go in with some black and then eventually hit it with some grey with the dry brush to give it a more rocky appearance. To give the piece a bit more variation, I used some green flock and then I sprinkled on some red flock just to break up the green a bit. And with that, I'd call this piece done, but you can also use the same techniques to make things like this. For the next tutorial, we're going to make some orc inspired junkyard terrain. To start off I'm making a base out of foam core and to do that I cut a nice organic shape and then bevel the edges. I then look through my recycling bin to find all different kinds of cardboard. The variation in material will cause a variation in texture when it's finally painted. This will assist in creating that scrapyard look when it's all put together. To create corrugated iron I'm using corrugated cardboard and I'm just ripping off the top layer to expose that bumpy surface underneath. Now I'm going to take a bit of super glue and glue all the different panels together in odd and interesting ways. I'm imagining some of the pieces that I'm putting together came from a tank or a train or a plane and just having that sort of imagination helps you put all the pieces together in a more realistic way. To add more detail I'm using kebab sticks and I'm going to cut them into little pieces and add them to the panels. To attach the panels to the base I'm using wooden sticks and I'm gluing those sticks on an angle so it looks as though the panels are leaning against them. Once everything's assembled I coat the corrugated cardboard in super glue. You should probably use PVA glue though because super glue creates a lot of fumes which is probably not very good for you. Then I cover everything in texture paste, so when it's painted it's going to look rusty and old and corroded. I base coat everything black, making sure to get in every single crack and crevice. Following the painting might be a bit difficult, but here's what you're going to know. Uh, paint every single panel differently in a different colour and a different style, and then hit everything with metallic colours like silver, and then dry brush over everything with earthly colours like browns and tan. Then I do highlights using more saturated and brighter versions of the base colours. And the end result might look a bit like this. This next piece comes from Warhammer Fantasy 6th edition. This is the first piece of terrain I ever tried to make. For this one you're going to need balsa wood and plumber's epoxy. To start off we're going to make another foam core base, this one a bit longer this time, and we're going to bevel the edges. Put the base aside and get out the balsa wood. You want to cut the balsa wood into strips and I do that with the box cutter. Uh, you can really use any sort of knife as long as it's sharp. Once you have all the strips, cut big slices out of it and make a point at the end. You can be really rough and it doesn't really matter because when it's all painted it will look really good. In fact, probably the rougher the better. Once you have enough of these sticks, cut them in half and then cut them to semi-random lengths and then you glue those pieces onto the base. Then I take some plumber's epoxy, you can also use clay or modelling putty, and build up the area around the sticks. Not only will this look like dirt build up, but it will also secure them better to the base, meaning they will last longer when you're playing with them. Then you want to do a second line of these. Cut the base at an angle, so when you glue them on it looks like they've been stuck in the ground, ready to poke or whatever comes towards them. Just like before, add another layer of plumber's epoxy. I then put two layers of texture paste on the base. You can also use sand if you don't have any. If you use sand, make sure to seal it down with some watered down PVA glue. 
I then undercoat everything black and then put a base coat of brown over the top of everything. To paint this whole piece all I did was dry brush lighter and lighter tones of brown until it looked earthy and natural. Later on, I just included some shadowy bits around the base, just with black. And then I highlighted all the wooden edges with like a really light tan colour. You can go a lot of places with this. You can also put down green flock as well, but I really wanted to go for the muddy, earthy, gritty approach. This is the finished product. You can also add some variation to the model, a bit like this. Hello, welcome, season one, episode one, you just finished it. Next fortnight, episode two. Till then, like, subscribe, leave me a comment, send me an email. I read them all, so and I'll probably respond. Maybe not to the comments, because there's normally a lot of them. But if you send me an email, most definitely will respond. Especially if you're a sponsor. If you want to sponsor this episode, next episode, got a good product, run out of materials. So if you got something good, let me know. Might be able to do a deal. You know, give me some money, I'll give you some spotlight, maybe even just a free product. I've got my flock, blue. I've run out of all that stuff, and that stuff's expensive. I've been making my own flock. That's a tutorial. Maybe even next week, if you want to see it. I don't know, you let me know in the comments. Tell me what you want. I'll work it out. Till then, see you later.